Yo, what's going on everybody? It is your boy, 6am, with uh, another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a nice rap beat, like Juice World and or type rap, Dior type rap beat. It's fairly easy, and you don't even have to know how to make melodies, you don't have to know anything about that, okay? Because we're going to be using this thing, Looper Man, okay? The, you can just get free loops and they're free uh people just make them and upload them here so they it's pretty cool so yeah all you gotta do uh you can type in juice world or whatever i just typed in uh ian dior i don't know i don't even know if i'm pronouncing that right but i just typed in that and then there's just a b bunch of loops people made i already listened to these uh but see like this is see that one's good see the it's just a lot of people make um kind of like loops you know like this guy see nick mary you could also type in nick mara yeah i might have to go with that but we d just listen to a bunch of them uh there's a lot yeah you know I'm, I'm probably gonna go with this one right here and these are all pretty recent ones because the like it's the eighth right now when this was up uh uploaded the seventh and it also tells you, like, the key and all this stuff. Um, and the BPM. That's very fast, actually. I might want to look for more. I don't know. Okay. That one sounds pretty good. I'll just use that one. So you just hit download, and then here's the wave folder. W A V. I don't know if it's pronounced wave or W. I don't know, but well, then you just click show in folder, and then you could just exit out of that, and then just take. See, I already downloaded a bunch, but I'll take this one and just drag it um up here. Oh, I just kind of okay. Now I don't know the BPM of it. Shoot. All right, here it is. I found it. 180 BPM, okay? Um, all right, yeah, 180. So what you do is go on FL Studio, get rid of that, and just change this to 180, okay? And you just kind of just drag it in, and it should fit. Um, it doesn't look like it's fitting. Uh, okay, let's see. All right, yeah, I don't know why it's... Why is it so... Okay, I think it's at 183. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it is. 183 is good. So once you got that, uh, I like to make the actual part of the beat. So, um, so yeah, what you do is just get... You download packs, just look them up. But what I do, so yeah, I got, I already got, so what I do is start with the 808s first. Um, so just find a good one. That one's fine for now. We, you always change it, so, yeah, so. So you see, just listen to it and just place the 808s. I don't know, I'm not very good at that. Uh, it kind of just takes me a while, so I'm going to speed this up, um, and yeah. Alright, so once you have the 808, make sure you find an 808 you want. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just going to go through these, see it's good. Alright, so yeah, that's fine. Um, and then what I like to do, so get rid of those. What I like to do is put this to uh, channel 1, or just whatever channel you want. And then slot 1, put um, EQ on it, and then um, just play it. I like to raise this to make it a little more bassy. All 
around 60 hertz, 59. Alright, that's fine. See, I don't really know much about bass, but it should be fine. And then what I like to do is put compressor, 3D compressor on, and then the gain up a little, and then let's hear it. Okay. And now, I don't know if I'm doing this right, but you gotta... Uh, I like to get the um, high to mid frequencies up on the uh, the bass. So, like, I don't know, but I like to do this kind of. Uh. See, I like doing that because you could actually hear it. Um. Instead of just getting like a little bassy tone, you can actually hear the uh, actual thing. Alright, so now you need kicks. Um, oh, right here. And basically all I do is copy, paste, and then just change them all down to C5. And then insert 2. So insert 2 or the channel that you put your kick at you change the EQ and see where it's hitting actually and then you just add a compressor bloop bloop and then okay that's whoa that's way too hard Okay, see that's good. We could, you'd always change it later on. So, yeah. And then what you're okay, I just did that. Now what you're gonna do is take some hi hats, or actually, I like to do claps first. So find any clap, they all sound the same. I don't know. Just play it and just kind of mess around, you know. Okay, but then what you're gonna do is just go yeet, yeet, yeet. Actually, not that close, but um, and it's kind of a problem when your bass lines up with the clap. So try not to do that. Like, see right here, it's not gonna work. It's gonna kind of, I don't know. See, it's I don't know. Let's try. It. We could try to fix that. So it's. Wait, okay. Okay, uh... Yeah, I think that should be fine. You can always change it up later. And then what I like to do is turn that up a lot. And then I also layer snares over it. I don't know if people do this but I do because I don't know it kind of brings it out more all right and now for the part that makes it good so what you gotta do is take your little hi-hat you know so that one already sounds good I'll see if a freaking this 14 hat is amazing so what you're gonna do is do boom and then boom you gotta be no and then what you're gonna do is piano roll and now here's the fun part where all the good stuff comes in so all right let's see here So yeah, I think that's good. So yeah, you could also change the um, 808 pattern too. Actually, and then let's so no, the 808 is fine, and then just change the kick. So
So yeah, I like the um the uh, little kick separated from the bass because kind of like boom, but yeah, I don't know, I don't know. So yeah, I guess that that's it. Um. So yeah, I think that's fine. Now that's basically it. But we're just gonna do go to a different pattern and uh, kind of like why is that is that at zero? Why? Uh, ooh, so this is a hard part. I don't know if I like using hi hats for the um kind of like the build up or I like using the bass. So that's kind of what you play around with. So here's the um. Okay, no, I yeah, okay. So what you gotta do is um assign this to three. And then take dish and then Buddha. Do um love filter, fruity love filter, okay. And then create out a right click this, cut and create an automation clip, and then boom, boom, and then Okay, so now you've got yourself a setup track. So this is what it's gonna kinda sound like at first. I don't like that. Okay, hold on. And that's basically the end. So yeah, basically, I want it to. Just want the beat to be going. I just want to hit it with the slow down type. Slow down, you know. And then kind of the uh, the build up part. And then boom. It hits and then that's but but that like is the ending kind of like they don't really sing to that it just kind of fades out into the distance and that's gone so yeah i mean that's pretty much it make sure you follow my soundcloud in the description and yeah uh soundcloud yeah okay bye